Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jungle World. So in today's video, we are gonna see multiple choice field. Okay, and uh, this can be created using many to many fields in a database. It is a relationship. Okay, so first of all, sorry, I am recording the video after a long time. Okay, so I was just busy with uh, some things and I ship I was shifting to US. So yeah, it was pretty busy schedule for a month okay so from today i will be uploading regular videos okay so in order to uh, implement multiple choice field we need to write i mean create many to many field in the database now here let's create one another database i'll just say position so i'll say class position and here I will say models dot model. Okay. Now here I will say position name. Let's go name, and it is going to be models dot character field. Okay. Now here the max length will be two hundred, comma blank equals to two, and the null equals to true okay now here i am not gonna add that uh, edited field and created at field and all those things because this is just a forms tutorial not a database tutorials so those field i will be adding or i will be teaching while i will create video for models dot i mean for django models okay now once this is created let's say emp position okay equals to models dot many to many field now here you always need to write many to many field so many to many field means one particular object can be added to several uh, databases and another thing you can also add more, more than one categories in the particular Enter. Okay, so here I will say position the class name which we have created over here in short the table name. Okay, and here I can say blank equals to true and null equals to true. Okay. Done. Now, once this is done, let's migrate the changes. So I'll say Python py make migrations and i'll say my okay. now i'll also create super user so i'll say create super user and i'll say admin 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 okay now once this is done let's go to forms.py now here since now we were using the simple forms now it's time to use model stock models form, not model stock form sorry model form yeah this one okay just change this one no need to do anything now come down here i'll say a to many fields Okay, now here I will say EMP. Underscore position equals to forms dot. Now here you need to keep one thing in mind. Whenever you are creating a field for many to many field, you need to write forms dot multiple not multiple sorry model multiple choice field okay and inside that we can pass the label label equals to employee position okay then we can say query size now okay 
by psi equals to okay so in order to write very set for this particular field we need to import position database which we have created so we will just import that and we will say position dot objects dot all all right then we can say widget widget equals to forms dot check check box select multiple okay don't be confused for this one guys please see you need to use the model multiple choice field whenever you are creating the field but in widget you need to pass multiple checks uh, multiple checkbox uh, checkbox select multiple sorry see don't be confused guys here whenever you create field that time you need to pass forms dot model multiple choice field and in widget you need to pass checkbox select multiple okay and inside that we can say attributes and of course this will take dictionary so we'll just pass the dictionary and say class then we will write form hyphen check hyphen input okay now this is it so after doing this we will come down sorry and we are we will add class meta right and in this meta i'll pass model and here the model is gonna be employee okay the model which we put in what here yeah. okay so why is it that employee model, model. Okay. and then we will say fills I just need to write this class underneath this bracket not in the bracket of it. Employee, then you are set close equals to I'll create list and here I'll say emp underscore name of emp underscore image comma emp underscore general and we are say emp underscore position okay save this now let's go to admin.py now here i will register that particular table which we have created just like this save this one now here since we have wrote this form as a model form, okay, we are treating this form as a model form now. So, in that case, handling, handling this uh, views is very easy. We don't need to write all those things. Just leave it. We need to write form over here. Okay, so if the request is post we will just pass this one and once the data in this form is valid we will just save this form and pass this message that the form i mean that the data has been added to the database okay and here in else i guess we can type this one let's see whether it works or not okay i think we are good to go so I'll just run the server now. So I'll say python manage.py. So here I'll say python manage.py manage.py run server. Once this is up and running, I can just click on this. Okay. Here now we will enter the data. But since we don't have any 
uh, employee position so in that case we need to add those in the database so i'll just log in as admin okay i go to position i add position so i'll say software manager i'll say something manager save i'll just refresh over here okay so since we are having this css issues let me go to vs code hide the terminal go to templates here in the employee i will just say as as code p refresh still we are getting this issue so i'll just write pr tag over here and copy it few more times now here you can see we are not able to see the particular object name which we create we are we are able to see the object one object two like this so for that we need to go to models now here we need to write one function which will be that underscore underscore hdr underscore underscore and this will return sorry m cell of course and this will return mm. let's say cell dot position name that's it refresh you can see now we are able to see this position names okay let's copy this one paste that one over here and instead of this you can say amp name yeah okay come over here refresh you can see the software manager position company manager position okay so let's say i am writing the employee name yash patel and the email id will be test one at the rate test.com the gender will be mail and i want to pass this board row and i just hit on submit the data has been saved so if i go to employees you can see I have new entry work. So if I click on this one, you can see I have these two rows. Okay. So this is how we can handle multiple choice fit. Okay. So yeah, this is it for today's video, guys. If you like more, video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And in next video, we are going to see password input. So I will see you next time. Thank you.